Oh, welcome back. I've got good news. Welcome back. I've got good news. Uh, they will we'll be able to film inside this massive, one-of-a-kind church basilica. Holy cow. Uh, just so I don't have to worry about mispronouncing the name of this special place, I will just call it a basilica. And you know what it is. I hope you know what it is. I hope it, I hope so. So let's go inside. I am just too excited. Let's go over here and look at this outside sculpture before we go inside. Holy cow. Up close and personal. All right, let's get let's get inside. Let's get it over with. I know you're as excited as I am to see the inside of this fantastic work of art. And that's really what it is. It's a, a work in progress, a work of art. As we get closer, this evidently is the original entrance. The other side is the new entrance. And this side is probably back the 1890s and the beginning of this Gothic entrance. No doubt this is Gothic. This is not modernist, modernist or uh, Mauvais or whatever it was. Uh, Mauvais, this is... Uh, so let's just go inside. We can get some more views from outside as we go. And uh, we'll see what we see. So we'll see what we can see. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. I guess I'll just start over here in this area here. And just, I'll just go as slow as I can, panning up and down, north and south, and east and west, very slowly. If you pan too fast, people will start falling out. Stained glass uh, representation. Look at this beautiful, beautiful structure. This is so much more uh, attractive, I guess, than the outside entrance, wouldn't you say? Maybe this is uh, part of a new, I don't know. I hope these images do justice. Just a wonderful, wonderful space. And I'm, I'm just lucky, I'm glad that I was able to come here. I mean, and it's all because uh, Mary Beth Hennessy's mom lives about 22 minutes away south of here by train. And if you don't know who Julie is, Julie Hennessy, she uh, was one of the moms back in the day when I was growing up. Uh, defecating in my pants she was the mom down the street with Mary Beth Michael and Frank then they moved to Sag Harbor on Long Island and then uh, her husband passed away and she was over in Ireland and she didn't feel safe over there she was living next to I guess the story is a, a, a bar and uh, her daughter was in Spain or moved to Spain and uh, she liked it and felt safe there and became a resident. So that's where I'm going tomorrow. Look at the stained glass windows over here. Just, just fascinating. It's hard to, it's hard to get an image of anywhere at one place. Look at this. It's, uh, I got the 1830 tour or ticket. And what that means is that I'm able to enter the building at 6.30 or 18.30. 
Now you might have trouble on the website, the official website. So many people are using it sometimes, and when I got time to to pay for my ticket, uh, it wouldn't go through. So uh, the hotel clerk was uh, nice enough to use a different website, and I was able to secure these tickets for today. Yesterday was fill up. Sunday was f uh, f all full up. So this is your ticket. And uh, I forget how much it was, 30 euros or something. I can't, I can't keep track. Look at these, look at these towering columns, Gothic uh, medieval mixed in with, uh, mixed in with, I don't know what. Unbelievable. There's, there's some more stained glass images up there, windows. Let's the light in. So the sun is setting, so we got some good sunlight at this time of the day, as opposed to maybe in the morning. Look at the spiral staircase. I'm gonna try to get out of everybody's way. I'll lean up against this pillar over here, and I'll get try to show you this spiral staircase. Now, maybe that's what I'll be taking I have also selected a ticket to go up into one of the towers for the Sophia's, uh, Tia's Sophia's. And uh, so that might be a place I go. I don't see any place to light candles. Holy cow. I'm glad I'm able to uh, use my iPhone 12 Max Pro. I'm still trying to contact the uh, Tourist Bureau of Portugal. I still haven't re uh, gotten any results from my request. I wasn't able to use my selfie stick inside that castle. And uh, I am uh, still a little bit disturbed by their policy. Otherwise, I had no complaints about uh, Portugal, except for that one uh, policy. I can't film without a stick. I'm not gonna hold it in my hand and shake like a leaf, have my hand in the way like this, you know. Oh, can you see it now? How's that doing? Is it everything okay? Can't happen. You gotta have a stick, a stick of some kind. Look at this, the sun is setting, that's the west. You're looking west towards the organ uh, and the altar. Jeez, this is just amazing. Just amazing. And I'm probably, uh, probably not going to do justice to it. You have to come here and see it for yourself, I guess. I can only show you what I can show you, and I can only... I can only miss what I'm gonna miss. Just, just fascinating. We'll go up front and take a seat and get a close look up the altar. Look at all this different, different architecture all the way around. There's the another uh, spiral staircase. Again, going up the other side. I think if you're interested in architecture and you're a student, you really need to come to Barcelona. And uh, what is that up there? That looks like, uh, is that seating up there? Look at the seat, is that seats? Can you see the seats up there? Is that seating? Must be. What else could it be? Looks like bleachers. Uh, let me get it off that lens for you. And uh, and uh, there's where we came in over there. And the beautiful stained glass. Look at that one up there. 
Holy cow. Oh, wow. I'd say this is the highlight of my visit to this city. Look at the size of these columns. And this stuff isn't just thrown together. As you architects all know, it all has to be weight and measured and uh, weight bearing columns and, 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 and support. Uh, look at the, look at this, look at the, I guess it's concrete. Concrete and stonework, just look at it. Brings you back to a, a safer, more peaceful time. No, I don't think so. Back in the 1880s, they were lopping people's heads off. That, uh, I failed to mention, that square at nighttime in Morocco and Mar Marrakesh, they used to originally use uh, that square to lop people's heads off and then put them on sticks at the entrance to the square back in the day. Sometimes 45 people uh, at a time lost their heads. Of course, that was back in the day. That doesn't take place again today, uh, uh, today but uh, it... Uh, that's where it was uh, originally done. I'm going to try to take a seat here and uh, show you a close-up of... Look at the size of these pillars. Say hello. Can you see me? Hello. Wave. Wave. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can come through here and... Uh, sit down and perhaps uh, say a prayer. These iPhones are great though. All you got to do is point and shoot and it takes a great photograph. It really, really does. All right, I'm going to have a seat right here. So that you can get a, a better look at the altar and the crucifix and the backdrop of this just magnificent uh, architecture. So if you're an architecture, an architect and you're in training, I think it's part of your curriculum, if it isn't already part of your curriculum, that you come to Barcelona and you take a look around and get away from all your thinking and try to get out of the box and, and realize that uh, just because this is was started in 1882 it's just a beautiful piece of, of architecture and perhaps you young architects in training can just stop being so cookie cutter pale boring uh, I might even chance to say morose in your architectural design. Get creative, as my brother Jay always says. Think outside the box. Can you do that? You know, everything doesn't have to look like a Hollywood mansion. Square, modern, glass, boring. Boring, you might as well live in a garage because a lot of homes, that's what they look like. Fancy garages. $15 million garages. Actually, that's all they really are. People like to park their garage, their cars inside their homes now so that they can look at them. If they could make love to their car, they would. Some have probably tried. I want the model that I can have sex with. Do you have a model uh, Ferrari that I can actually bond with in a way that will differentiate uh, me from all my friends. I want to make love to my shiny objects. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, another note of interest, this whole thing is donations only. Donations only. 
My, my eyeglasses are fogging up here. I can't believe it. All right, I'm going to look at, what is this, 15 minutes. I'm going I'm to take another walk around and cut it. And then when I go up in the tower, I'll start again. Uh, this is kind of a choppy video because there's so many people around. It's hard to... It's, it's, it's just with all the nooks and crannies and all the different pillars and the arches and, and, and the stained glass, it's just, it's hard to take, it's hard to take it all in, in one, uh, one image. And I guess that's the problem I'm having now. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just massive. And it's just so inter intricate. Uh, here's another size, look at the size of this pillar. Lock stone. probably Google this the best I can more intensively than uh, Wikipedia and uh, find out a little bit more details than the ones I mentioned in the previous video. That's, that's where I'll exit over there when I do exit. Let's go around the back of the altar and see what's happening. Look at this beautiful staircase. The stained glass going up. It's like a movie set, but it's not. It's real. It's not Las Vegas. It's just another spiral staircase. See the way it's going up? It's not some Disneyland hotel. It's, uh, it's real. Holy cow. Like a downstairs uh, chapel. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Oh, this is the crypt. Okay. Um, I'll get over here so you can see it. Says the crypt is the oldest part of the basilica and a place where Gargudi, and that is the uh, architect, was buried on 12 June 1926 after a, uh, quite a big celebration. Final farewell from residents of Barcelona, a recognition of his work. Wow. Wow, what a place to be laid to rest. I don't know if we'll be able to venture down there. Uh, certainly I'll give it a go. Watch this over here. It's an old confessionals. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. I'm sorry, I got it on the wrong lens. There you go. There's nothing nicer than stained glass window, I tell you. Confessions. Strengthens the soul, Mother Teresa of Cal. Uh, it's an early confession. Now, what's going on over here? Am I going to be sorry? Am I going to be able to come in here? Uh, we'll see what happens. Got to be patient. If you're not patient, this video is not for you. I'm gonna put this away for now.